Hey everyone, I'm back again with another technique video. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to make some masks. And this is the end result of one of the masks that I've made. Um, it's a little cowboy image on a background. And here is a, another one. Full two page spread. And you can see that. Um, and these are very simple to make. Um, you can also buy them commercially. Uh, Tim Holtz make some really sexy masks. This is a, as you can see, a, a, a crown and then like a French curve kind of thing. Um, and he does some of my favorite imagery, a set of gears. Those are really cool. So you can find those in Michael's and most craft stores now. Um, you're going to need a few basic tools to do this. An X-Acto knife. This is the most critical thing that you're going to use. You can also use scissors. I prefer using a sharp X-Acto knife. You can um, do it with... with uh, the other thing that's really critical to this is some um, spray mount adhesive or so, uh, some sort of two-way glue so that you can temporarily stick your stuff to the page. Um, when you use this, you spray it on, allow your piece to dry, and then... The other thing that you're going to need, obviously, is a pencil to create the design and then if you'd rather go freehand um, a sharpie or some sort of pen. The other thing that is optional if you want to use your masks over and over and over again you want to seal them. You can use packing tape um, or you can use some sort of wet method Mod Podge or matte medium to seal the seal the top and the bottom of the of the mask. Um, I like to use um, polycrylic uh, or polycryl uh, it's a water-based polyurethane sort of material. Uh, it's really great. It um, dries clear, um, dries flexible on paper, but seals your paper up so that it resists being saturated. And that's something that you really want to um, be in tune to when you're doing this. So, now to the nitty-gritty part of it. Correct. 